As an independently published author, my book has had to stand up against literary critics and public scrutiny. But there's one thing I thought of very recently that I noticed it hasn't defended itself against. The Second Amendment. So the question that I have for myself is, can my book stop a bullet? Well, we're going to find out today. I'm John A. Douglas. I'm an independently published author and the author of the book in question today, The Black Crown, available now on Amazon. After watching this, I know you've all asking yourself the same thing. Why are you the way that you are? Honestly. We'll get to what you actually want to see in just a second, but really this started as an innocuous question. Could my book stop a bullet? And I figure, well, why not go out into the country and find out? I mean, I don't know any other author that's done this before. I think I might just be the first. God dang it, John, you beat me to it. So, I mean, there's a lot of questions that are involved in this, and I figured I'd better start with the most obvious one, the scientific question of what this involves. So I figured I'd ask the only scientist I actually know, my good friend, Dr. John Moreau. John, what do you think about this? What's your opinion? Hello, John. Sorry to disappoint, but I am not a ballistic scientist. Let me show you what I actually work on. I am a... Okay, thank you, John. Let me head over to my good, my editor, Daniel P. Riley of Whimsyland. Daniel, what do you think of... John, you still owe me money. Moving right along, let me go to my friend Andy Peliquin, a fellow indie author. Andy, tell me what you think about this. John, we've talked about this. I know, but... You're not allowed within 500 feet of me anymore, John. Are you still mad about that? The judge was very clear on that restraining order. See, I was just... Don't make me go for the sword, John. I'll okay, do it. Okay, thank you, Andy. Much appreciated. Hi, John. I've heard you're thinking about shooting a book. I just wanted to let you know that if you actually go through with this, you're going to need a lot more than the one to hide behind. <laughs> As if I only have one. <laughs> Now, throughout this video, we will occasionally be going to reactions from my good friend and fellow indie author, Jim Wilburn. Jim, thanks for being on board. I'm sorry, what now? Yeah, we talked about this. I'm going to shoot my book. <laughs> oh, you're serious. Oh. Well, of course I was serious. You ready? All right, enough shenanigans. I'll show you what you came here to see. Just a little bit of note. Uh, there's going to be some ambient noise, and we had to film some of this on our phones. Some of it wound up in portrait mode. I apologize. Please bear with us uh, on this show. It, we're always unprepared. No expense considered. All right, so first, we're going to shoot the Black Crown with an ordinary 9mm self-defense bullet right here going right there. Let's see what happens. Okay, so, uh, obviously not going to win any marksmanship marks with that particular entry. Went in right there, and uh, the question's been answered. Can it stop a bullet? No. Definitely do not use my book as body armor, that's for certain. Now, that was an ordinary 9mm. Uh, that's all well and good. Okay, so, now we're going to up the ante a little bit with a 5.56 five, shot from an AR-15. See what we got here. That clean through and through. That's a little disappointing. I, I gotta admit, I was kind of hoping this book would stop a bullet somehow, and you know, we, you'd be able to you'd be able to uh, see what page it stopped on. That'd be interesting. Okay, 
All right, so it didn't stop either of those two. Uh, the 5.56 and the 9mm uh, went right through the book, and uh, the 9mm made more of a mess than the 5.56 did, so that's a little interesting, but let's make it a little more interesting. Let's see what happens when we give it a blast out of a self-defense round from a good old shoddy. Well, the Black Crown saw in paperback unfortunately does not function very well as uh, body armor. Uh, I wouldn't strap this to the front of yourself if uh, you found yourself in a desperate situation. That's silly. Um, actually, you know, don't do that, obviously. But uh, so that's the paperback. This is about how well it did. But let's see how the new hardcover does against this test that's right i'm sorry it took a little uh, long to get to this point however the black crown as of today of the airing of this video on july 4th 2024 is now available in hardcover and as you can see this is my proof copy uh the cover looks gorgeous pictures and video do not do it justice it got a little bit of a reformatting as you can see the insides formatting looks much better uh, this is superior to the paperback if you ask me but let's see how it holds up against the barrage that the paperback just went through. Well, guys, thanks for joining me today. I appreciate you being here. Uh, this was a lot of fun. This was born out of a simple idea. Could my, my book stop a bullet? And, well, we answer that question. Uh, the answer to both paperback and hardback is no. But, uh, as I said, the hardback is now available. The hardcover is available on Amazon. There's going to be a link to it in the description. Uh, and to help kind of celebrate both the holiday and the release of the hardcover, you can also get... A copy of the Kindle book for 99 cents that is also on sale uh, for now I'm author John a Douglas thank you for joining me hail the Iron Age and I'll see you next time what the f that boy ain't right mm-mm Thank you for watching. If you like this video, hit that like and subscribe button for me. If you didn't enjoy it, I thank you for watching this long. Either way, I'd love to hear from you in the comments. My independently published fantasy novel, The Black Crown, is now available on Amazon in ebook and paperback. Sign up for my newsletter at johnadouglas.com and you'll get five chapters for free. Until next time, hail the Iron Age.